Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Today we're going to be harvesting olives for the first time. I've never harvested olives before. So it's going to be a bit of an expense getting the harvester. So we're going to fund it first of all with the spader which I don't even need. So we'll repair it and we will sell it. £7,205 which seems pretty good. I'll repair the McCormick whilst we're at it. £7,572 so there goes that profit or that income. Uh, so we have £15,000 or so to spend on a harvester which I don't think is going to be enough. It might be. It might just about be. But anyway, let's get this Total Mix Ration Mixer taken back to the farm because in the very near future we're going to be establishing the cow farm. Well, we're going to be expanding, I should say. <laughs> it's already kind of established. And um, yes, also very soon we'll be selling the silage. Eventually this area will actually be concrete. We're going to be putting the grass field in further this way. But as you can see, this field is full of stones. And I do have a stone picker here. A worker was supposed to in the previous episode, but it saw my cultivator and uh, got confused. So it didn't do anything. Where did that? Um, so this tractor is now going to do it. I think it's going to fill up very quickly. We have so many stones in this field. Stones are switched off for me, but we still seem to be getting quite a few stones, so I'm going to have to get rid of them. Okay, and uh, yep, yeah, that should be fine. I've got the John Deere tractor coming back with a worker, so let's just see where that's got to. Yep, yeah, it's on the way. It's just on this road. Uh, so anyway, let's go to this page. Olive Technology. £306,000 and to lease we don't have enough money. So, this is not a huge problem for the reasons which I've explained so many times. We have so much silage to sell. But short term, we're just going to have to take some money out of the bank alone, which is really not a big issue. I think 5000 extra should be enough. Yes, so £15,606. jump into the harvester. I'm just interested to see how much money we make from these olives. Because uh, unlike the grapes, we have started with quite a large area. Uh, so it should be pretty good. Oh no, this is called olive as well. I, I called my fent tractor olive. <laughs> oh well, they can all be called olive. Probably not adventurous. No, it's not really called olive. Obviously, it's because it's the olive harvester. Uh, although, I don't think the other one does say grape on it, does it? I'm not sure. Look how low it is to the ground underneath. There's hardly any clearance at all. Although it looks similar to the grape harvester, I think it is very different. When you just see a photo, you think, oh, it's the same machine. But when you actually study it, it seems different in many ways. So we are quite lucky really because the field has been cultivated and there's no crop in it. So it doesn't matter too much if I do drive in there. So it raises up, transforms, switch on. So we have to be aligned perfectly. But it looks like we do get a much bigger gap to uh, align. Um, it much more sensitive I'd say with the grapes. Although yeah it does funnel down be careful either way. And similar to the grapes, it is shaking the olive trees, shaking the fruit off there. So I should be able to stay in first person view, hopefully, because you can actually see like the entrance to the tunnel. So you can, uh, although I am still hitting it, but you can align it a bit easier. I'm never going to be an expert at this, but uh, as well, with this we can actually put it into our trailer. If I take the extensions off, I should be able to unload them into there. And we're already 12% full. The only issue is, we don't own any kind of factory. We could get an oil factory to process olive oil. You could do the same thing with sunflower oil and canola. Okay, so we've got to look left and right here. Come back down on this side. I think we will end up in the middle. 
probably not the normal approach, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Oh yes, this is very good. I will alternate between first person and third person view. Let's see if I can get right inside. It's as far in as it will zoom. But you can see the fruits being taken. They do disappear. And then they come up here after processing. And then into the hopper. They're looking good. After going up and down, we have managed to get a third of a machine's hopper capacity, which seems quite good. Everything that's unwanted is being thrown out of this tube, out of this pipe. Leaves and stalks and stuff. Okay, let's go back to first person view. Try and stick on that line. And whilst it's doing that, let's just really quickly take a look at olive prices. They should be at their lowest. Because it's harvest time. Olives are here. 1770. Well, that's, that's not too bad, because it means that when it's at its best, we might be able to get over 3,000, maybe 4. But then when you put that into perspective, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're not going to get that many thousands of litres, so we certainly won't profit. We would have to, at the very least, have a factory. But I never intended to profit straight away. Same as with the grapes. I don't think it's really uh, possible just to profit straight away without producing products. Because it's £15,000 just to get the harvester. And I think I spent over £100,000 planting the olive grove in itself. It, it was just so expensive just to plant them. So, as expected really, Anyway, let's continue until we're full. Not a bad bit of progress there. Let's get this emptied into the trailer. Should be able to fit into here no problem at all. Just square it up. There we go. Okay, right. Tip it into there. The, uh, when you actually go on packages, it shows you the recommended trailer. It's that dolly trailer. But since we have this, if it fits, great. And it's looking promising. Uh, so it's higher capacity than the grape trailer, which we bought. But the grapes have to go into that specific trailer. Or that type of trailer. Very nice. It actually looks really impressive. The amount which I've harvested. So I've done three on each side, so we have... How many do we have left? Two. We're in the middle. So I would hope to be able to get another, well it's going to be 33% of the harvester. Should be exactly 33%. But this is it for another year. But the difference is we don't have to prune these. We just leave them. And we'll also have to do some mulching, cultivation work and some spraying. Or good view. 
Yeah, so you can see all the augers and everything, they're all hydraulic. All hydraulically driven. It's an interesting piece of machinery. I can't wait for even more crops to be put into the game. I think one which is surprising, which isn't in the game, is peas. Because uh, you could have pea viners, and then you could also harvest the peas with a combine harvester if you let them dry out. So peas, you would imagine, would be the obvious next crop to go for. But I was very surprised with the uh, olives and the grapes. I was not expecting it. But I'm pleased they did them. They're very interesting. It's just the money we make out of them which is not so good. Okay, right. Head back down and then we're done. If this harvester ever comes up in a sale, we have to buy it. Because it's just far too expensive to buy new. We have to buy it used. And there we go. 30 or oh, 32% cry ye. Before we got 33. Look at that self-leveling. And that must have been really hard to make. That is a really interesting feature. Turn around, we should see it tilt the other way. Look at that. That's brilliant, just to keep the machine level. So you can work on all terrain. On hillsides, for example. I don't mean all terrain, I really do mean hillsides. <laughs> yes, I don't think you'd want to do this on a, on a cliff. There we go. Right, that's very good. So this year, they are just going to have to be sold. There's no other solution. Uh, we definitely can't afford the production building. But this was just a taster of olives, and I enjoyed it. Just make sure I've done every single one. I think I have done. I believe so. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, so, yes, what I shall do now is check where the price is best. The train station. But not now. Yes, it's not quite at its worst, apparently. But I don't really follow these anymore. But I will on this occasion because as I know it's harvest time, there's going to be so many people supplying olives that the demand is going to be low. So this must be the worst it can be. Let's take it back over to the farm and I'll put it in the shed. Oh, and as for the olive harvester, as it's <laughs> not going to be used again, guaranteed, we shall return it. So thank you for the use of the machine, but sadly, we won't be profiting. How's my stone picker doing? Yeah, it's still going. It is such a big job. It's a very slow job. But it makes the field look very nice afterwards. So, no, you would not just keep them in a trailer like this, I'm sure. They, they would have to be put in some kind of cold store or something. I don't know exactly how olives are stored, but it wouldn't, I'm sure, just be like this. But we're just gonna have to do it this once until we have a factory. Obviously that is my focus. We will get a factory for next year. We will produce olive oil. And if we do have a factory, we should also be able to produce canola and sunflower oil, like I said. So that'd be really good. It makes me think we should put sunflower, uh, sunflowers or canola in now, but no, I already have my uh, mind made up. This is going to be sorghum, the other two barley, but the year after that, yep, it can be completely different. Okay then, so yeah, I might as well get into that tractor with the stone picker, because I need to also do some stone picking. Yeah, the worker just continues even when it's full, but we don't make much money from them anyway. So, uh, actually, the worker is going to really struggle. Ah, we might be able to pick up stones with a bucket. I believe we can do. So I could just make a pile and then scoop them up in the future. If I just... They don't want to be in the way. This is my sort of dumping ground at the moment. Could put them in a trailer, but obviously our trailer is busy. 
Yes, hopefully I can move those without any problems. And what I will do is I'll finish this field and then we'll go over to field number 12 and make that look lovely and clean. Just look at that field, I've never seen it so nice. Wow, what a tidy place. We really were getting far too many stones. They've been building up over the last few years. So neat and tidy. Oh, actually, well, I suppose I should really have the seed drill going. We can't stay in the month of October forever. When I've done my stone picking, I'll have to get some more seed. Uh, but yeah, most importantly, this end, this has to be done, otherwise the worker just crashes into trees. So I'll go up and down here just probably two times. Oh, it might be enough, maybe up to four times. We will see. And then, yes, this can continue on a worker. The mighty John Deere. Which I'm very pleased that I bought. It was a good deal. Less than £100,000 for this tractor. Sounds expensive, but tractors don't come cheap. Yes, if all this work wasn't enough, we are power harrowing the field now. This is one very cared for field. We mulched it, cultivated it, stone picked it, and now we're power harrowing and drilling it. So clean and crisp. Really that should be enough, but I'm just going to play it safe. I'll do it again. So this whole field is not going to be do done with barley. We do need to put in some grass because uh, the cultivator decided to get rid of some of my existing grass. So I need to put a marker out really. And the best marker is going to be the JCB. Um, if I go and get some more seed, I can then park the JCB where I want it to go up to. So let's just drop off this one. To find my pallet fork. Where did I put my pallet fork? It can't be far. There it is. That's good. Uh, but it's not like the seed drill is moving particularly fast. It's uh, a very small working width, only four meters. I will buy as many as I can do. We are running out of money as usual. Um, let's just see if any... No, nothing else has appeared in here. Uh, yes, I would like to have four but that is subject to money. <laughs> okay, we can afford four, that's good. We have a thousand pounds left to run a worker until we suddenly become rich when we sell all of the silage. Our money worries will just disappear. Right, that's a good load. and fill up the drill. I shall wait for it to come back and then when it gets to here we'll let it turn around and then I can fill it up. There's no point stopping it or confusing it at this stage. Yeah, as for the honey, these were all four pallets but because the capacity was changed we now have a load of quarter pallets. So they need to be sold. At some point. There's no rush. Okay, that's good. So neat, but the birds are already here, eating all my seed. I should very easily just be able to boom these bags over the top. 
emptying four at a time might be a bit extreme, but it's worth a try, just because it looks good. Wow, <laughs> what a, a super fast fill rate. Okay, well, it's now ready to continue. Close the lid. Has 1800 litres. Oh no, where did my money go? Some rental. Well, there we go. It's the loan I was repaying before anyway, so just got it back again. But it will be gone forever soon. I keep saying that, but it's true. We are going to be doing so well. I can say that with confidence, which is something I can't normally say. And I want the barley to go up to about here. Um, so it's probably giving me a bit more grass, although not a huge amount more. So it should just detect me and think, oh, there's a JCB in the way. I'm going to stop. At least that is the plan. But it'll be some time until that happens anyway. So let's get over to field number 12. We'll take all the stones out of there. And then that field will also be ready for some barley. Doing this is really going to make this field look nicer. Because we have the very shallow cultivation, which has just given us a load of broken up stubble. But this will turn it into more of a seabed. Oh, we have so many stones here. Yeah, it's going to be filling up quickly. The majority seem to be sort of over there. There's loads over there. There's no rocks in this top section. Because that's an area which was cultivated after I turned off the feature. But yeah, as soon as we do get the money from the silage, I'm almost immediately going to buy a new tractor. Now, I've always been saying I want to get a 7710 or a 7720 series, and uh, I've also been saying I want to get a 4700 series. There's been a number of occasions recently where I need three higher horsepower tractors, so we're just going to go with the 7720 series. But I would love a 4700 as well. But it's just not a priority. And then I'll be happy, because then I'll have all the Massey Ferguson tractors that I want for now. We also have a John Deere and a McCormick, so we're mixing up the brands. And, um, yeah, I'm sure eventually the series will end up having loads of different tractors. I really should do something about this top section, because it's not really going to be a harvestable area. We need to be able to turn around with the the harvester, the uh, the olive harvester. So I think I'll just draw some grass. That's the easiest thing to do when we have the drill up here. But for now, let's get the stone picking completed. another tidy looking field and almost a full hopper of stones uh, we still have uh, the other field to do the stone picking on so I'll just keep piling it into that stone pile I think then the best approach is just to scoop it up with a bucket take it over to the cell point because this thing's capacity isn't very big uh, if I can get it into a trailer, in fact it is about time we've got a new trailer as well so that is something which we can uh, fund with the uh, silage Just a small trailer, because we're going to get that huge trailer. The big red one. We have two trailers to buy. And there we go. Finished. Ready for drilling. And in the next episode we will get that drilled. But we must also do the grape harvesting before we move into November. Very important. Otherwise those grapes are going to die. They'll just wither. 
So anyway, let's get this back to the... Oh, actually no, it's this way. Indicate left and turn right. What a good idea. Also, <laughs> there's stop signs all over the road. I don't know if that was me or the worker when it was bringing back the uh, spader. Uh, it was crashing into several things. I, I think it's probably a bit of both. I know I've hit some. I didn't know I'd hit quite as many as what are lying on the road. So, anyway. Let's go up here. Don't know if we can get in the back way. Probably not. So we have the stone crusher lurking behind here. And it would give us a bit of money just to help with the rental, but not very much. 238 pounds. Well, it could have been worse. So here we are back at the farm, and actually I can't see many stones. I can't see any stones. This is brilliant. So in that case, we don't even... Oh, there's a stone there. Uh, we don't really need it, though. It's like the odd stone. Ah, uh, there's a few over here. Oh, so it's the original field. Wow, that looks so nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have to do this area then. It's field 39. 38 doesn't need doing. So that needs to be done. We need to harvest the grapes. We need to drill for number 12. And then we will be done for October. And yes, it's a, it's a slow job. But that's fine, because that can continue whilst we're doing the grapes. Not an issue. I could even get a worker to do the stones. We're busy. But it's looking good. So tidy. Yeah, I know we've spent now two episodes just working on these two fields. Um, but I'm trying to do it properly. I'm trying to make it look really good. Get the most out of it. Maximum yields. But it is time consuming. It just takes time. Anyway, we're going to leave it here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.